Nepe. Featuring me! This was a call I had to make a few days ago where Ewert's gonna come in with a Korra Korra, Aoki's gonna take the parry, make the repost, and hit. Let's watch in slow motion. All right, so again, tricky call. Ewert's gonna flash right here. You're gonna see Aoki take this parry four as Ewert goes around him. It's tricky because it's a lefty-righty situation, right? Aoki is gonna take that Shamley Watson. Here's the actual moment that the light goes off. I, I awarded this touch. It went to video replay, uh, challenged by Mr. Ewert, and, and I went, I looked at it, I awarded the touch. Is it as simple as that? No, I actually talked to a few FIE reps about this one. Uh, let's talk about the polling. I spoke with nine FIE referees about this, and seven out of nine of them said touch is good for Aoki. The other two had a slightly more nuanced answer. They said that, be that they would have called halt in this situation, but because I didn't, call Hall, the touch is good. Uh, Yannick Borrell also messaged me. He said, Perry Repos, touch is good. But I want to talk about this a little bit more and go into one more level of detail about this. One of the great things about Summer National is we had multiple FIE referees present, and I was talking to them about differences between what we call domestically versus internationally, and they were talking about how we don't give fencers the opportunity receiving a core core to have a repost. They were talking about how in the moment you receive a core core, you almost have to consider it like right of way, right? Who's initiating the attack? Who's receiving the attack? And do you punish the person receiving the attack with core core and don't give them an opportunity or to touch? No, of course not. You always want to give the fencer receiving core core an opportunity to repost. 